hi everyone welcome to today's session so in today's session we will be going to address or we are going to discuss the topic of recession as all of you are asking about the recession that there is no jobs there is no sap jobs are there there are no openings are there so so in today's session we will be discussing this topic so basically we will be discussing it in three parts so first part is why are you thinking that there is a recession second part is it for real and third part how to handle the recession okay so let's first come to the first part why you are thinking about the recession that there is a recession so let's understand this thing definitely there is a recession in the world market in us market there is some recessions are there and uh, as per the recent news recently there is a um, recession is starting in germany also okay so in the world market there is some kind of recession but we are not sure what is the truth behind that or uh, what is the actual recession we don't know so in indian market might be it is a kind of impacting that uh, due to the us recession or uh, due to the world recession maybe it is having some effect but in indian market or indian job market there is no such recession is right now is there okay so first thing is answer why you are thinking that there is a recession okay so basically there is a recession in the world market but there is not such recession in indian job market okay so second thing how we will decide that there is no recession is there so if you search in any kind of job portal let's say naukri is there let's say linkedin is there let's say monster is there so if you search for proper jobs let's say we are discussing about the sap jobs let's say if you are going to search for any kind of sap jobs definitely there are openings are there okay so maybe there are some limited openings are there okay so that might be the reason that there are limited openings are there but definitely there are openings i can see in our group also in whatsapp group also i am sharing the jobs what are the openings are there means recent jobs what are the recent job postings are there i am sharing that in the group and uh, also if i find something in the linkedin also i do repost it so if you are in linkedin if you are following me or if you are in the whatsapp group then definitely you will be getting some of the um, job postings over there okay so definitely there are openings are there so first thing is there is no such recession till now in indian market okay so second thing is you are not getting enough responses right so let's understand this you are not getting enough responses what may be the reason for that one right so basically we will cover it in three parts okay so first part is your profile creation okay second part is your how you are sending your resume okay third part is if you are getting no response means after the hr call you are not getting enough response so we will be discussing it three parts so first part is your profile creation so in your profile you need to create your profile um, in a very good manner means every information needs to be there in your resume so you should prepare a good resume so we are discussing this on the basis of experienced professionals or experienced persons applying for sap jobs okay so you need to create a good resume so you need to mention the work experience perfectly okay so there will there should be no mistake on that one third thing whenever you are applying for jobs you need to see the job description you need to file the find the jd means the job description will be there in the job posting so you need to create a resume as per that one okay so randomly or uh, don't just send the single resume to every hr person or every recruiter you just don't send to them okay just create your profile as per the job description 
okay this is the second part third part is how you are going to send the resumes okay so now whenever you are going to send the resume write a proper email to them okay if you are if you are getting some hr contact number over there or uh, contact uh, means any email ids are there so if you are uh, sending an email don't just write that uh, i'm interested for this position i'm up, i'm attaching my cv don't write these kind of things in the letter you are applying for a job be a uh, like formal person to apply that one so write a formal uh, application that uh, what is the job opening how do you find it what are your qualification how you are thinking that you are eligible for the post so everything you need to write it down in a formal way and you have to attach your cv or attach your resume then you have to send it to the hr person or the recruiters right so this will be having a good impact on your uh, let's say application process right so third thing is there will be a hr screening will be there so in the hr screening you need to answer properly whatever questions they are asking you need to answer it properly so if your job profile or if your answers will match with the job description then non definitely you are going to have an interview or in your interview is going to get scheduled okay and uh, the last part is up to you how you are going to face the interview okay so this is the thing in this period of time so here we we have to tell one thing i have to tell you so there are little bit lesser openings are there okay so there is no doubt on that so there are little bit less openings are there as i said there are some kind of let's say recession are going on in the world market so let's say some us market or german market or european market there are some recessions are there so that might be impacting the indian market but there are definitely there are openings are there and uh, definitely you need to search for the correctly you need to search in the job site what are the openings are there so you need to find out and you have to follow this kind of process okay so you should not worry about the recession so normally jobs are there you need to know the process how to apply for a job or how to find a job okay so this is for the experienced professionals okay now let's come to the fresher people so many fresher people they are searching for the job uh from let's say 6 months 4 months 1 year or uh, let's say one and half year many people are searching for jobs as a fresher profile okay so now let's understand the situation of fresher in the job market okay so as a fresher you will be having forever recession in your life so why i am saying this to you because as a fresher no one will consider you in any kind of company why this is happening so let's say if you are joining as a fresher let's say let's understand the perspective of it company let's say it company is hiring you so for a fresher client will not bill you okay they were they are not going to bill you so you are going to paid by the it company not by the client okay because clients they don't want any kind of fresher they need the experienced persons okay so if a it company is going to hire you they will pay from their end so you are not going to bill so a client is not going to pay you so there will be no profit for a fresher in the it company that's why it companies don't consider any kind of freshers so basically we call them as a shadow consultant so you will be shadow of the senior consultant or any kind of consultants are there you will be shadow of them so you will be not getting billed okay so you will be only getting uh, so you are going to learn in the first period of time let's say for the first one year two year you are going to learn something okay so in that period there will be no benefit of the it company to take you okay so now this is the situation how to handle this one so there will be definitely there are some openings are there for the freshers also okay so but if we consider the fresher openings let's say you are joining as a fresher and uh, you are learning the sap then in one year or two year you are going to leave the company to switch the job let's say you are for a higher salary you are going to switch the job so now the it company will face the losses 
so that's why they are not going to take the fresher people okay right from the engineering candidates they are not taking the fresher people but rather than right now right now there is a market for the freshers as a let's say uh, the bsc people or bca people or mca people there are openings are there okay for uh, let's say any kind of uh, engineering graduates there are lesser openings are there because why uh, because many of the workforces now uh, these it companies are creating by taking them from the intermediate let's say inter means the um, after the um, let's say intermediate or uh, uh, let's say your um, 10 plus 2 after your 10 plus 2 education they are taking from there they are just giving them uh, let's say some stipends and they are uh, teaching them uh, let's say they are uh, joining them into graduation courses and along with they are going to train them in the IT field so after the graduation completes then they will be posted into the let's say they will be posted permanently to the job but there will be lesser increment and uh, um, appraisals will be there so there will be some um, let's say uh, limitation to that one also that is a separate part so directly if you are a fresher and if you are searching for the job so you need to um, like don't constrain yourself in some parts in which part first thing is salary don't look up to the salary as a fresher you need to learn right so a company will pay once you start working some uh, let's say efficiently or a client is willing to pay for you okay so that is not the case for the fresher candidate so you need to compromise on the salary part okay so there will be lesser salary you need to adjust on that one second thing some companies might ask you for a uh, let's say any kind of contractual period or let's say any kind of bond period will be there they will be asking you so if they are asking you no issues join them contract is not an issue so you are definitely you are going to uh, first one year or first two year you are going to learn first one two three years you are going to learn okay so learn in that period and uh, don't worry about the bond for that period of time let's say if anyone is asking you for money okay so this is the third thing so money means if any company after you are joining means um, after your joining process they are asking you so let's say in the between of joining process they will be asking you for some money like they are going to provide you training so it will be a pay training right so it will be a pay training they will be taking uh, they will be taking you as a uh, on job training okay ojt so they will be taking you as a on job training and they will be giving you a training so they are that's why they are charging something right so it is a known process there is no issue on that one in uh, my current company means HCL is also taking this as a paid course so they are taking from the graduates they are taking 2 lakhs to 3 lakhs as a uh, let's say training fees and uh, they are giving them stipend there is no issue they are giving, the, uh, giving them the stipend for the period of time whenever they are in the training they will be getting the stipend at that time and after that completion of the course they will be joining the company also okay so there will be no issue so some companies some small companies they might ask you for uh, 50 60,000 or 60 70,000 or 1 lakh up to that maybe companies will, will ask so there is a difference between companies asking and any consultancy are asking okay so don't give any money to any consultancy if they are asking you to pay some fees or pay some money for the job or to get a job or to get an interview so don't pay anything to that if any company is asking you for a money for the training there is no issue so 50 60000 is not a big deal if you are going for a certification normally it cost around 3 lakh to 4 lakh okay so people are going for the certification so if you are not uh, means you have not done the certification and uh, you are a fresher gra fresh graduate so there will be no issue i believe to pay 50 60000 if anyone is asking right if any company is asking for you a training fees and they will give you a training so there will be no issue on that one okay so so consider these kind of things if you are a fresher so you can consider all of these things first thing salary second thing if there is any bond be okay to that one third thing if anyone is asking you for a training fees remember this training fees not to get any job okay the you should not pay anything for the job you should pay for your training okay that is not a bad thing or that is not a uh, let's say 
not a bad thing so you can pay for your training right so um, that is the whole thing for the freshers okay so if you are a fresher so you need to consider these kind of things if there is any openings are there if there contractual openings are there if there is any kind of uh, bond period is there if there is any less salary is there so adjust to that one get a job get one to two years or two to three years of experience get real experience after that you can switch your job for a good salary okay so for the starting period of time you should not consider or you should not uh, like bother about the salary part okay so most of the people they are not bothered about the salary so i i know uh, some of the people they are not bothered about the salary but there are no openings are there so you need to consider all of these things okay and uh, last uh, last suggestion i could give you if you are a fresher so you need to search a little bit more than the experienced candidate so how you can search search in the any kind of job sites are there search over there any kind of let's say linkedin type uh, social um, uh, sites are there you can search it over there okay in linkedin also you can search it and uh, last option for every company you can get the all the company names of a it company who are providing the sap jobs go to their career site apply over there if they are they will be having any kind of openings will be there any kind of uh, like uh, let's say any kind of fresher openings are there so you will be getting chances over there so you need to uh, work a little bit harder than the experienced candidate so um, most of the people most of the guys they are only complaining that there is no job but uh, jobs are there okay you need to just refine your search strategy and you need to just adjust to some things okay don't just complain complain means uh, who are going to complain who are not able to do anything who are not going to do anything who are not willing to do anything they are only the complainers okay they are only doing the they will only the do the complaints okay so don't complain rather act on it okay so if you have anything to improve act on it and definitely you will be getting the success if you are going to complain then you will be remain complaining all of your life so that's it for today so we will be meeting again on another video so till then bye bye and jai hind